In our last video, we talked about exterior angles and what they were and how to identify them. Uh, in this one, we're going to focus on the exterior angle theorem. So uh, the exterior angle theorem is the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. So uh, why? Why do these two red angles, these two red angles here, let me bring it back. All right equal this blue angle here. How do we know that? Why is that true? So I want us to remember our triangle sum theorem and the fact that uh, angle one, oops, one, I cannot write. Let's try that again. Trying to write too fast. Angle one plus angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees right? We know that much. And we also know by supplementary angles that angle 3 plus angle 4 equals 180 degrees, right? Because they create a line which means that they're a linear pair or in other words supplementary angles. So because I know that, those two things, they both equal 180 degrees. So that means that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals angle 3 plus angle 4. And I have angle 3 on both sides, so if I subtract angle 3 from both sides, it goes away, leaving me with angle 1 plus technically measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle 4. So again, remote interior plus remote interior equals the exterior angle. So this is what you need to know. Inside plus inside equals outside, but those inside cannot be touching our exterior angle for this to work. All right, so find the missing angle measure. Here's my exterior. X equals interior plus interior. Notice that those are, I want the ones that are away from my x. So 53 plus 61, x equals 100. Where'd my pen go? There it is. x equals 114 degrees. That's it. Let's do another one. On this one, my angle's on the inside, right? I know the inside. The outside as a square, that means that is 90 degrees. So in this case, my exterior equals my interior plus interior. So seven minus 73 on both sides. And so 90 minus 73 is 17 degrees. So X is 17 degrees. So if I want to know the outside angle, I'm going to add the two inside. If I want to know an inside angle, I'm going to take the outside minus the inside. That's how, that's how it works. It's simple. All right, but what happens if we add expressions, Mrs. Kari? This looks like way too much. Ah, it's the same thing. Outside, so angle 3 equals angle 1 plus angle 2. Right, so angle 3 is 5x minus 8, so 5x minus 8 equals angle 1, which is 26, plus angle 2, which is 3x minus 2. I've now just created a, a, an equation that I just now need to solve. So I can't do anything on the left side, so I'm just going to write 5x minus 8. I do have like terms on the right side. 26 minus 2 is 24 plus 3x. Uh, I am going to subtract 3x from both sides. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. So now I have 2x minus 8 equals 24. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So 2x equals 32. And then I'm going to divide by 2, so that x equals 16, I believe. Yep, x equals 16. Now, 
It wants to know what is the measure of angle 3. So x is not our goal, but x is how we get to our goal. So now measure of angle 3 is equal to 5x minus 8. So I'm going to substitute. Measure of angle 3 equals 5 times the 16 we just found, minus 8. 5 times 16 is 80, minus 8 is 72. So the measure of angle 3 equals 72 degrees. That is the answer we are looking for. So again, we have to be comfortable with our algebra skills so that we can use those to find the unknowns while we're working the geometry. Interior angles, inside plus inside plus inside equals 180. Exterior angles, outside equals inside plus inside. But those insides have to be the angles away from the exterior angle. All right, that is it for our angles within triangles. I will see you next time, 8th graders.